Hello viewers, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the Jerry Crash Show. Today we are at the DSPCA uh, we up in Rafamam. Uh, here with me is Gillian Bird. Hello, Gillian. How are Hello, you? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. Thank you so much for bringing us in here today. Gillian, uh, can you tell us about what the DSPCA is all about? Absolutely. Well, we're the Dublin Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. We've been here in Dublin since 1840, so we're celebrating 176 years this year. And what we do is we look after animals that are sick, injured, and animals that are cruelly treated. Wow. So what are the things involved in most of these animals that are brought in here if they're sick? Well, the animals basically are rescued by our inspectors or brought in by members of the public. They are then seen by our team of vets and veterinary nurses. We rehabilitate the animals. They're then either reunited with their owners, rehomed to new homes, or in the case of wildlife, like the foxes, the badgers, the ducks, the deer, they're released back into the wild. Wow. And when most animals are brought in here, what is the first impression do you see from them? A lot of the time the animals are very scared, so you know you, you see the animals, they're hurt, they're scared, um, but they're usually delighted to actually have somebody rescuing the animals. So we see a huge variety of different emotions with the animals, which is, is, you know, is not to be ex unexpected when you see them coming in. Mm. Many of them are hit by cars, many of them being left in back gardens to starve. We have a huge variety of reasons why the animals come into us. Wow. Let's talk about some of the other part. This is what what's the name of this other part? This here is our rehabilitation centre. So this is where the dogs go to once they've received their initial treatment. The dogs are moved down to this centre here. So they would have some of the recovering sick ones, the injured ones, and also some of the cruelty cases. And they stay in there until they are ready for either reuniting with the owners hmm. or they are ready to be adopted. Five this five. is the cattery. So this is the rehoming cattery. So the cats that are in here and the kittens in here are all looking for homes. Hmm. So the same situation, they come down here when they are ready for homes so we would have a number of different areas we have an isolation unit for the sick ones to go to until they're ready mm. we have a holding area in case we're not sure if they're sick mm. a lot of the animals would go into foster care so we have animals that would be fostered by our volunteers until they're old enough or well enough to come back into the center here for rehoming here and this is a daily activity that has to be done every day absolutely and of course every animal has to be fed has to the area has to be cleaned out when you feed them they poop so you've got to clean up all that as well <laughs> there's all the medication there's all the work that has to be done and, and the majority that work is done by our fantastic team of volunteers. Wow, fantastic, Adrian. Let's talk about what are the other activities that is happening in the D DSPCA. What are the other activities that you would do here? Well, we do so much. Obviously, as a prevention of cruelty to animal society, education is one of our key things. So education takes part in school talks. We do a huge amount of school talks. Groups come up here for visits. We run summer camps, Easter camps, Halloween camps, all these sort of things. Mm. We do a huge amount of education, which is to try and prevent the cruelty in the future okay. from the kids that are there. We also also do a lot of stuff like we have a mobile clinic that goes around to areas of Dublin for people who couldn't afford full veterinary prices if they're in receipt of social welfare going on. Okay, so you you are going to be showing showing us some some of the other part of uh, different lo lo location of what is happening. Here. Absolutely, we're going to go and have a look at the cattery, be able to see some of the kittens and the cats that are looking for homes. Yeah. We go down to the dogs. We'll talk about some of the dogs that are looking for homes, and we're going to see some of the other interesting animals we take in here from time to time. Fantastic! I can't wait to see. You ready? Let's go find out. Here yeah, we are at the Catherine. Gillian have a bit of information for us in relation to what the cat is all about in here. So Gillian, can you talk us through that, please? I can, of course. So obviously, before anybody comes and adopts an animal, we try to talk them through th some of the facts. So what we want to do is to make sure somebody's taking an animal, they're going to take it on for the lifespan of that animal. So as you see, a cat can be anything from 13 to 17 years okay. and some of the requirements that are needed for the animals. So you're going to bring, bring us in and then show us some of the yeah, animals. Bring yeah. you in and show you some of our friends. Yep. Per perfect. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, good. Thank you so much for bringing us in here. We're really having a good, good time here. What's the name of this uh, um, cat that we have here? This is Sammy. Sammy is a little boy. He's about eight weeks old and he came in here looking for a home. So he's now in the cattery here waiting for a home at the moment. Yeah. Do you see one, one of this one? <laughs> Gotta talk to me about it anyway. Thank you very much, Gideon. So you're going to take us a bit more to we show We are going to show you some other animals now. All right, so we're going to let him go. <laughs> Hello again. How are we doing? All right. We're all good. We're all good. So exciting today. So this is the dog fat. Can you talk us through this before we move on? Yeah, well, I mean, this is the same as any animal we rehome in the DSPCA. We like to let people know what it is they're getting. So because you choose a small puppy doesn't mean it's going to stay a small dog. It could grow very, very big, like a Great Dane or something. And we just like to explain to people what they are taking on, because you are taking an animal that's hopefully going to be with you for 15 years. So it's all about the facts and about letting them know the information they need so they can make an informed decision at the end of the day. Um, over here, 
you have information for people who come in here about the dogs and information. So can you tell us through what is happening here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you'll see there's a lot of information here. So, for example, microchipping, which is now law. Your dog must be microchipped. So it's just to inform people about the things they need to know. And when people come in here, they have different show glasses. They can see different dogs. And then they'll be able to make choice in that case which they want to go for. Would that be yeah, absolutely. We do interviews, we do home checks, we do all these things to make sure the dog matches the family. So it's not a question of coming in and saying, no, you can't have a dog. We talk to everybody about what they want in a dog, what dog is suitable for them, and we work through the whole process to make sure we get a lifelong, lifelong uh, relationship between dog and family. We'll be right back after this, viewers. Still more to come. Um, thank you. Gila, thank you so much for bringing us in here. Yeah? Uh, before we go, Julia, can you talk us through, through this love, lovely snake? This is Sydney. Sydney is a snake. Came into us there um, about a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And we do actually get an awful lot of exotic pets coming into us. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we get them as strays where people have just found them around the place. Yeah. A lot of the times their people just can no longer keep them because they, they have to upgrade. They have to make get a bigger tank so they can't always keep the animals. So we do get a lot of reptiles, so tarantulas, snakes all sorts of things coming into us in the DSPCA here. Wow. Fantastic. Can I want to say thank you so much for bringing us in here today. This is how we're going to live it all. So viewers at home, uh, join us in the studio. And thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you.